What is up guys, Vicky Fortway coming here, and today is Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day, everyone. <laughs> if you did not see the last episode, here is a little sneak peek of what it was. Make sure you check it out on the link on the screen right now. Have you ever been to a fair where they have fish in bowls and then you have to like throw like a ping pong ball into the bowl to like get the fish that's in the bowl? Like if you if you land the little ball in, you get the fish. Well, I went to one like that at my school one time when I was like like in fourth grade and um, I was okay at it. Earlier in the day, I had um, thrown two balls in and I got like two fish and I was like, yeah, I got, I got two fish. But as the day progressed, um, these people were running the stand and they realized that there weren't enough people landing the ping pong balls in. So they had too many leftover fish. So to get rid of the fish, if you landed one of the ping pong balls in, they would give you like five. They give you five of the so, of course, I end up landing in four fish bowls and getting 20 fish. And as this woman is putting these fish into the bag, she drops one on the floor. And she kind of like, she <laughs> this thing's rolling around in the dust on the floor. And she's like trying to pick it up and she can't pick it up. So she's like just rolling it around the floor and it's just kind of flopping around. And then it like, she grabs it and then she loses it and it falls again on the floor. And this is like a two minute process, this whole thing. And I'm like, oh my gosh, this fish is dead. She's going to hand me a like a dead fish in a bag at this point. So she puts in the bag, and the thing is just like floating there on the top of the water, not upside down or anything, but it's just like, it's not looking good, guys, that's all. It's just not looking healthy. And me and my dad are like looking at this, and I'm like, oh my gosh, like I'm gonna get home and half these fish are gonna be dead. And it's like, oh my god, especially that one. So we end up getting home, we put it into a fish tank, we put all these fish into a fish tank, um, you know, we give them some food, and then I, I sleep for the night. Well. About two days passes, okay? We lost a couple of the fish, like, just for natural causes. But two days pass, okay? And I noticed that this one fish, the one fish that I believe was the one that dropped, okay, uh, is a little bit bigger. It's, it's, it's slightly bigger. Like, it's not, like, super big, but compared to the other fish, it's bigger. Um, and it also had this weird little, like, spot on its side. And I was like, oh, man, like, there's, like, maybe it's got, like, a problem or something. But it's probably the one that got dropped on the floor. I was like, oh, okay, whatever. So I let one more day come by, okay? And uh, my dad comes in my room and he's like, Paul, come to the fish tank now. I'm like, why? He's like, that fish ate all the other fish. I'm like, what do you mean this fish ate the, all, all the other fish? Guys, there are just pieces of fish, like dead fish floating around the wall and one huge fish just floating in the middle and it was him. It was that one big fish. So me and my dad are looking at each other. We're like, okay, this is really creepy. This is crazy. There's one giant fish now. Uh, and all the other fish are all gone, like all dead and just floating around the water. So we clean up the tank and decide to go and get some actual fish for the tank with this one fish. Uh, yeah, that, that doesn't that doesn't last very long because the next day we come in and it ate all the other fish that we got. The little tiny like minnows that we had gotten for the water. Uh, we tried getting other fish and it, it took over the course of three years, guys. Over the course of three years, we just kept getting like fish and every once in a while... Um, Maybe one would get eaten or another one would get eaten, but then all of a sudden, like, one day it'd have, like, a purge, and it would just eat the entire, like, every single fish that was in the bowl would just die. And it, they'd all just get eaten by this thing. And this thing was huge. It was almost the size, of, it was it was over the size of half the tank, okay? The only reason why it died after three years was because it developed some sort of issue with its fin where it couldn't actually float under the water anymore, so it kept floating up to the top and onto its side, so it, it like, died from, like, lack of oxygen. But... This thing was like a mutant, like it, like a murder, like I'm not even kidding, it was like a murderer fish, like it, it would just come around and just like, it was a killer fish, literally, it would go and just kill all the other fish, it was just a harmless little carnival goldfish that I got, and it turned out to be this like serial killer that would just like go around and like eat all of its friends, it was, it was a, oh my god. Once it died, me and my family couldn't just flush it down a toilet because it was so big it wouldn't actually fit into a toilet, large toilet bowl by the way. Uh, we had to put it into a huge, like, food, like a grocery uh, bag, like a like a Ziploc grocery bag, because it wouldn't fit in a normal quart size bag, so we had to get a really big, like, oversized Ziploc bag. We took it into my backyard, and we buried it as if you'd bury, like, an animal, because we we couldn't actually flush it, and we didn't want to just throw it out, so we just buried it like it was, like it was a, uh, like an animal. Yeah, that's, that's the story, and somewhere in my backyard still, there's a bag, and, uh, and probably... The remains of a dead fish, or, or not, who knows. 
Anyway, guys, that's all I got for you. This has been Storytime with Vid. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, smack that like button, subscribe if you're new, and tell me how you guys are liking these stories. As always, it doesn't cost anything to be kind. Peace out, guys. All that you are, all that I